Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded uh, right triangle uh, ABC, fully inscribed uh, in a semicircle with the center O, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, AB is the diameter of this uh, semicircle. And moreover, uh, the area of this uh, semicircle has been given to us as uh, pi square units. And now our task is to calculate the maximum area of this green shaded triangle ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know the area of this semicircle has been given to us as pi square units. And now our task is to find the radius uh, lowercase r value. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius of this uh, semicircle. And now since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle, so therefore uh, the area of the semicircle is going to be half of this uh, pi r square. So I could write uh, pi r square divided by 2. And now we know that the semicircle area has been given to us as pi. So I'm going to substitute it on the left hand side uh, over here. So therefore we could write uh, pi equals to pi times uh, r square divided by 2. And here we can see pi and pi are gone. So therefore we could see that uh, r square divided by 2 turns out to be equal to simply 1. And now I'm going to multiply both sides uh, by 2 to remove this fraction. So therefore this 2 and 2 is gone. Uh, R square value turns out to be 2. And now I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. And here we can see square and square root is gone. So therefore uh, our uh, radius lowercase r value turns out to be square root of 2 units. So therefore uh, this radius uh, a o turns out to be square root of 2 and likewise uh, this radius uh, o b is uh, square root of 2 as well. So therefore we can see that this uh, whole uh, diameter a b is going to be if we add both of these one, that is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2. And now since we are interested in the maximum possible area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle. And here we can see the base of this uh, green shaded triangle is uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2. And here if we drop this uh, perpendicular uh, CD, then this is going to be the height uh, of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle. And now if we can see this uh, red C has the maximum height uh, for this triangle uh, OC. So therefore we get another uh, triangle uh, ABC with the maximum height uh, OC. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if A, B and C are uh, three distinct points uh, on the circle and the line uh, A, B is the diameter, then the angle uh, A, C, B is going to be a right angle. In other words, uh, it's going to be a 90 degree angle. So no wonder this angle uh, ACB has got to be a 90 degree angle. And this uh, new triangle is going to give us the maximum possible uh, area. And furthermore, we can see that this uh, height uh, is same as the radius uh, OC, which is uh, square root of 2. So this OC length is going to be square root of 2. So thus our base of this triangle is going to be 2 times square root of 2 and the height is square root of 2. So therefore the maximum green triangle area is going to be a half times our base is 2 times square root of 2 times the height is 
square root of 4, 2. And now we can see this 2 and 1 divided by 2, they are gone. And square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to give us simply 2. So the maximum possible uh, green uh, triangle area is going to be 2 square uh, units. So thus the maximum uh, area of this uh, green triangle is going to be 2 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.